Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Yeah. CNN, the Austin bomber showed no remorse in a 25-minute matter-of-fact confession video that he recorded hours before he blew himself up, Texas Representative Michael McCall said. Mark Anthony Condit, 23, planted a series of explosive devices in the state capitol, killing two people and terrorizing the city for 19 days this month. On Wednesday, he ended his deadly spree after he detonated one of his homemade devices inside his SUV. Since then, more details have emerged about the bomber, the type of bombs he used and how he was finally cornered. The bomber's mistake a security camera at a FedEx store south of Austin caught Condit's red SUV on video, McCall said. The bomber went to the store on Sunday and made the mistake of parking within view of a surveillance camera that captured the vehicle's license plates, the congressman said. Mark Anthony Condit Mark Anthony Condit surveillance photos from the mail delivery office in Sunset Valley showed Condit wearing a baseball cap, blonde wig, and pink gloves as he brought two packages to the store. Investigators used cell phone technology to track down Condit on Wednesday and to confirm that he had been to all of the bombing locations, McCall said. Condit had a list of addresses, McCall confirmed, but it's unclear whether they were potential targets. Law enforcement has cleared those sites, he said. Austin's weeks of collective fear Austin Mayor Steve Adler said the city's collective fear and anxiety was growing as the bomber carried the string of bombings. There was feeling that there was not much that we could do. There was a collective helplessness, Adler said Thursday at a city council meeting. Our community was beginning to fray, he added. Austin police is asking the public to remain vigilant and report anything suspicious. Some have been breathing a sigh of relief since Condit's death, others are still shaken up. Narcissa Velasco had rushed to help a friend, a 75-year-old woman who was severely injured on March 12 after picking up a package in front of a southeast Austin home. The sight of her blood and wounds, and the chaotic scene of nails, batteries, and other debris from the bomb is haunting Velasco and her family members, some of whom also witnessed the aftermath of the explosion. We are sleeping with all the lights on, she said. The victims the lives of Anthony Stephen House and Draylen Mason were cut short when explosive packages arrived on their doorsteps in Austin, Texas. The first blast on March 2 killed House, a 39-year-old father who worked as a project manager for Texas Quarries. On March 12, Mason was killed when he brought a package indoors to open it and it exploded, police said. The 17-year-old high school student played bass in a youth orchestra and was taking college classes. Both men were African-American. Among the injured were an African-American woman and one Hispanic woman. Prior to Condit's death, authorities believed the bombings could be racially motivated. But police said Wednesday that Condit did not mention anything in his video confession about terror or hate. I know everybody is interested in a motive and understanding why. And we're never going to be able to put a rationale behind these acts. In a statement, Mason's family thanked law enforcement saying they felt that Mason has received justice. The most recent chain of events have brought some sense of closure that our beloved has received justice, and we are prayerful that we can now start to move forward with our lives, the statement obtained by CNN affiliate Kai states. Search of Bomber's House federal agents searched Condit's home in Pflugerville for almost two days, cautiously removing explosive materials and looking for clues that could point to a reason for the bombings. Investigators found components for making similar bombs to the ones that exploded in the past few weeks, but no finished bombs were spotted, according to the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives. The devices that exploded in Austin and near San Antonio were pipe bombs with batteries and smokeless powder and were constructed with materials found in a hardware or sporting goods store, a law enforcement source with knowledge of the investigation told CNN. The bombs had distinctive shrapnel inside. Some had mousetrap switches and others had clothespin switches, the source said. Two of Condit's roommates were detained and questioned by police. One of them was released hours after Condit's death, but the other was free to go until Thursday afternoon, police said. They were not arrested, and neither roommate was publicly identified.